Hi, my name is Ryan Young. I'm a fourth year. I uh, work here in the uh, Regeneration Repair Lab uh, under Dr. Ryan Gilbert. My project, um, as well as all the other projects in Dr. Gilbert's lab, involve um, trying to find a way to either prevent or repair spinal cord injuries. What my specific project is, is I'm applying two different surfactants um, in a combination um, and looking at how that can help repair cell axons after they've been damaged through a mechanical means. So if you got your, if someone's spine was crushed in a car accident, you know, this would be, this would be something that would be applicable to, to a victim of that injury. So what, what we try to do is, um, what we do is grow the cells here in the lab. Um, it takes about a week or so to grow the cells, and then we damage them, and then we test the surfactant mixture. So the cycle takes about about a couple weeks at a time, and you just analyze your data and see how it is, and then you do more testing. It's a rinse and repeat, but you know, with the reward at the end being that you might actually cure your spinal cord injuries. I'd say that the time here is definitely well spent, and I love it. My name is John Zuno. I'm working in the Regeneration Repair Laboratory here at Michigan Tech in the Biomedical Engineering Department under Dr. Ryan Gilbert. And uh, our lab is currently working on spinal cord repair after injury. And one method that is being researched extensively is the use of a hydrogel. And hydrogels are uh, polymer networks that are cross-linked and they also contain mostly water. So here is an example of our hydrogel. And uh, it's composed of agro agarose and methyl cellulose. And uh, it forms a gel at physiological temperatures or about 37 degrees Celsius. As you can see at room temperature right now, it kind of flows. And uh, one good thing about this hydrogel is that you can place it into a syringe and inject it into the body, and then once it goes into the body, it'll form a gel and it solidifies. Uh, my research currently is on adding dextran to our hydrogel because it is to the, it's much different than the spinal cord, and also it, form, it takes a long time to form a gel, about 10 minutes. So we're trying to get that time down around two minutes and trying to make it much softer so that neurites can grow through the gel and repair the spinal cord. Hi, I'm Brie Cormier, and I'm in Dr. Gilbert's lab, the uh, Regeneration of Repair Laboratory and right now I'm working with soul gels. So currently we're using microelectrodes to uh, treat certain neurological disorders like, um, say, Parkinson's. And uh, the problem we're running into is once implanted these electrodes, they cause an inflammatory response that eventually ends up uh, producing an astroglial scar. And this isolates the electrodes from the surrounding neurons and basically we can't use that electrode for extended periods of time. So what we want to do is coat the electrode in a soul gel and um, hopefully that will reduce this inflammatory response if we, you know, if we encapsulate or if we put drugs in it or anything like that. And uh, basically just find a way to eliminate this so we can have electrodes that are used over an extended period of time. So what we worked on this semester is, uh, is putting drugs into this, into this cell gel coating and um, seeing if they can release over time. And that seemed to work pretty well. So now we're um, just finishing up that, and I'm working on making sure that the coating is crack-free and uh, basically that it looks really nice.